enjoying my day, my quarantine life. Oh yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll just give it uh, maybe another minute. Well, I guess it's seven o'clock right now. So uh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, what have you been doing during uh, quarantine? Are you more of a war zone guy or chell guy? Oh, chell for sure. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think war. Like I tried downloading Warzone, but the Wi-Fi just <laughs> didn't let it. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that's pretty good. Are you, are you trying to stay in shape, doing any any workouts at all, or anything yeah. like that? Yeah, I'm trying to work out every day if possible. Uh, I'm kind of working out at my dad's gym, so uh, it's working out pretty good. Is it weird not having like access to to any ice right now? Like, it seems to be like the biggest <laughs> problem for a lot of players, right? Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, I was literally talking to my dad the other day about trying to get some fake ice, like synthetic ice or something. So I'm just yeah. like I'm craving getting back on the ice. So, yeah. Uh, well, I know, like, I just want to take it back to October 17th. Like, we might as well talk about the season that did happen. Uh, do you remember the emotions when you're, you're told you're going to get your, your first start uh, against Barry there? Can you kind of take us through what you were feeling that day? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you, you know, I kind of knew going into that, like, week, I guess, that that was going to be the first start because I was finally back from injury. So I had a pretty good idea that was going to be the game. So going up to it, I remember just watching video and watching video and then, you were playing Barry, so at the time, Suzuki was there, so you're thinking of all these names that you're playing, you're coming up to play against, and you're like, geez, like, <laughs> what's going to happen here kind of thing, right? So, uh, I mean, it worked out at the end, but the emotions were definitely flying high. I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, you dream about playing in the OHL, and here you are uh, a couple minutes away even from first start, so it was awesome. Was there any extra pressure because of the, the start of the season this thing had? Like, you know, they started, you know, seven-game losing streak, uh, was there any added pressure when you're starting your first game after losing the team losing seven in a row? Uh, if, uh, it, in all honesty, it was probably less pressure. Uh, you're going into it, all the guys were even like, dude, like we have nothing to lose here. Like just go play your game. Like we're down 07 already. Like where's going to happen is going to go 0 and 8, right? So go get, give it your all and we'll see kind of what happens. Well, you stop 49 of 50. Uh, I, I don't think you hope that your team gets a lot of shots against, but, I mean, to be able to, during your debut, to have, stop that many shots, like, it still must have felt felt good, or, or you must have felt important. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, can you hear oh, me? I th- yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, sorry about there that. I think yeah. we... Uh, we uh, lost you for a bit there. Um, yeah, I'm I mean, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, sorry, uh, man. Uh, 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 well, but uh, so yeah. So you, I mean, you had a lot of games where you know when you did face a lot of shots, um, you came up big. Is there like any extra focus? Like once those forty plus shots come at you, is there any extra focus when getting a lot of rubber thrown at you than during that night? I mean, you're definitely more into it. Uh, there's games you can get 20 shots, and you're kind of just, like, it's hard to kind of get into it, and you're just kind of going through the motions almost. you got to really work to stay focused and stay in the game. Uh, but when you're getting 40 shots, like, there really isn't any time to get out of it. So <laughs> it's uh, it's really hard to kind of not be focused in one of those games. I mean, usually you're playing one of the top-end teams too, so you're definitely going into the game, and you're like, oh, okay, like, we're going up against London tonight. Like you got this guy, this guy, this guy on the ice, or any other team that has a couple skilled guys. You're going into it focused already, so just try to carry that through the game as much as possible. I mean, as a 16 year old rookie, big season for you. Um, Oliver actually asked a question like, well, "What do you think allowed you to make that jump to the OHL so quickly?" Because you see a lot of goalies play junior B in that first that first year as a 16 year old and don't come till they're 17 or even 18 so what do you think allowed you to make that jump right away to the O uh, I think just having the coaches there uh, like my goalie coaches were right behind me the whole time supporting me uh, and just the boys even like the guys on the team like probably one of the tighter teams in the league uh, everyone was just so well around you they gave you confidence they were there for you um, it just it really helped me kind of gain confidence, get into the league and kind of take it one step at a time. I mean, at the end of the day, like with all the coming up with an injury, I had an injury all summer. So, I mean, I was in the gym almost every day trying to nurse that. So it almost was like a setback, but at the end of the day, it just kind of made me work harder. So uh, I was definitely working hard in the summer, 
with training. Um, then it continued throughout the season with the goalie coaching and a video. And I think at the end of the day, it just came down to just wanting to work hard and wanted to get to that next level. So, yeah. I think Oliver also kind of has, I think he's a goalie himself. Um, kind of what allowed you to be so dominant during your minor midget season at the, the draft year. Um, again, like what advice would you give to some of these young goalies yeah. coming up? Um, my draft year, I, I really got to give kudos to the team that I was on. We were on probably one of the top, like I think it was the second ranked team in Ontario. Uh, so that really helped out a lot. Um, I was pretty big too for a kid that age. So I was able to fill up a lot of the net. Uh, and just again, like going back to my goalie coach I've had since day one, Todd Robler. Uh, he's a North Bay guy, but I've always had him just to kind of lean back on. He's always get helped me out. And then I think it was my going into my minor midget year, I started working with Matt Smith. Um, and he just he just kind of fine tuned everything, and got me going. So those two guys have helped it a lot. And then now that I'm with Sarnia, Frankie's there. So Frankie helped out a lot throughout the season with the video and all that stuff. So. Uh, starting so young, when you came into the league, were there any players, I mean, you talked about that first night playing Suzuki, were there any other players you're kind of nervous of or playing in any barns, maybe in London? They, were you a little extra yeah. excited for those games? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll be honest, like whenever you kind of got one guy that you can kind of say, oh, like this guy's sick, like you, you get more into it. Like you're definitely taking the time to review video on that guy specifically. Um, I'm trying to think of another one, but like there's lots, like, you go on any any team, there's always at least one guy, one or two guys that can really do that extra thing. So you're always looking at them and just the video on the, like the video goes back all, like all the time. You're looking at video going, okay, this guy does this. He works well with this guy at the point. Like, and even defensemen, like there's some teams where the defense is just so stacked where you're like, oh, like now we got to play him. Like, like London, like you look at London, yeah. like their defense, you look at their defense, you're like, oh no, like, they're going to be sifting bucks through the middle the entire game. Like, going to make Michael in front to tip it or whatever. So, yeah. Um, who would you say had the hardest shot that, that you faced against? Against? Um, I know in practice for sure, Eric Yorth. That was crazy. But um, I remember in preseason, I wasn't playing, but uh, Will Cooley came down the wing and he shot one on my goalie partner. And it was – actually, I don't even know if it was – it might have been Cameron Lamore at the time. But it bounced in and out of the net before, like, you even realized it was in. Like, it was just – and I remember sitting up in the stands going, you've got to be kidding. I guess what I'm getting myself into kind of thing. But uh, it's hard to say during – like, I guess it kind of – it's hard to say. Uh, I couldn't say one for sure. Yeah, so it's not really – I mean, not something you're really thinking about, I guess, while you're you're playing. Uh, It's – yeah, definitely. Like I mean, in practice, you kind of get to know know the guy's shot and say like, "Well, this one's this one's definitely harder." Like, you can feel that one a little bit more. But uh, like in the game, uh, yeah, I don't know. Delandra hit me with one really good one, like right in the chest, and it left a mark. So, oh wow, <laughs> yeah, I'll leave yeah. that one up there. <laughs> um. So, obviously, the season probably didn't end the way you guys wanted it to, but uh, moving on to next year, I mean, who knows right now when that's going to be. Where do you think, uh, as a team, that you, you look to be at, or, or what ways do you think you guys can improve on? Uh, I mean, honest to God, we had, like, what we thought was going to be enough firepower. So, I mean, our offense was hitting on all fours. Like, uh, we struggled out on our own end, which kind of killed us at the end of the day. Like, we could put up four or five, but we'd give up more than that every almost every game it seems so uh we're just gonna try to i mean we got a good draft pick here with uh, max so having him come in hopefully he plays a 200 foot game and help us out in our end it's gonna suck losing guys like kelton and mcgregor and Jawsling. all three of them were pretty good in our end and at the other end so uh going in next season we just gotta try to really focus down kind of find our identity early and see how it goes from there have you uh, talked to Max at all? Did you send him a text on uh, draft day at all? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think most of the guys, and, uh, especially the first rounds at least, uh, first couple of rounds anyways, just a text saying congrats. Can't wait to kind of have you in here uh, and just check up on them and see how they're doing. So, uh, It is your, your draft year uh, going into this year. Do you have any personal goals set? Do you lean on a guy like Jacob Perot who went through that this year? Or is there... Any advice he gave you? What are you thinking going into your uh, your draft year? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, my goalie coach, I'm sure once the season kind of gets underway and we kind of see kind of how the team's going to be, we'll 
kind of set our own personal goals for that. Um, Jacob and Jameson, and honestly, all the guys that have kind of been through that, uh, they all know. Even the guys that went undrafted, they'll they'll tell you stuff and kind of get you going. So, I mean, everyone that we're – like our whole team is one of the tighter teams, like I was mentioning before. So, everyone can go and just – they'll have to help me out through it. Um, I know even – like I still talk to McGregor and Jocelyn and all them. So, I know McGregor will be there for sure. Um, I was talking to him just the other day. So, I know he'll be out there if I need anything. But, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, we do have some questions from some people here. Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, Niagara Sports Unleash asked, uh, and Ethan asked, basically your favorite mo- uh, memory of the season or a favorite rookie-specific memory? Um, that's a hard one. I mean, uh, I mean, I think it brings back to my first game. Uh, just being able to get that first game under the belt was just unreal. Um, I mean, it went well, too. I think even if it wouldn't have went the way I wanted it to, I think it still would have been a great memory, uh, just getting that first game in. So I definitely have to say that's probably my favorite memory. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Kirorak knew. I probably messed that name up, and I apologize. Uh, uh, he said, have you picked your equipment out for next year? Uh, ultrasonics, question mark. I actually got a demo set that should be here next week, so I'm sure that'll be posted up on Twitter at least for, by me. Um, I kind of got my own customizations with them, but haven't really gone too far into them um, yet. We're just trying to kind of see what I like, and we'll go from there. You're going to go uh, with the uh, the honeycomb pads again? or I, I really want to. I really like the full yellow, yeah. but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm not 100% sure yet. I got some designs that I'm kind of flying around with, so we'll see how it all kind of shapes up, but... Never know. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people did comment they're the sickest pads in the league, so <laughs> so you have that going for you. Uh, Drayden wants to know what's your favorite place to eat in North Bay. In North Bay, um, probably the Moose. My buddy's dad owns it, and the wings there are just off the charts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, the the Moose sounds like a place that would be in North oh, yeah. Bay. <laughs> you know what, like. We go watch like UFC fights there every Saturday night, and it's just it's kind of a thing with me, my buddy and I. Uh, Eric Fontaine used to be on my minor team, so I'll go watch it with him. Uh, my dad, sometimes his dad will go too. But uh, just something to kind of bring all the guys together. So yeah. Uh, Tyler wants to know what was your favorite minor hockey memory. Uh, minor hockey memory. Uh, I, think I remember seeing that he actually played with my minor hockey team. So. Uh, oh. I guess I should make this related to him. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? It'd probably honestly be with, uh, it was like a novice team, and we made it to the Silver Stick, and we actually ended up winning like the finals like 4 nothing or something. And, I mean, it's cool just to kind of be able to go back and look at the Silver Stick pin that we won. So, I mean, your name's in the Hockey Hall of Fame for a year as a kid, so it doesn't really get much better than that. So, yeah. Uh. Yeah, I, I also had the chance to win Silver Stick. I always uh, thought it was so awesome. cool that my name was yeah. in the whole thing. I thought it was the best. Uh, <laughs> Ethan Langevin, this is funny, uh, uh, wants to know your favorite goalie partner. My guess would be Jordan Coy. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, honest to God, though, like, Coy, he was an awesome guy, too. But uh, I definitely see Ethan. He's a beauty. Uh, we're, uh, I've never been that tight with a guy uh, that I'm battling for the same spot with. We're... Uh, yeah, we do a lot of things together, so it keeps kind of that competition down almost in a way. I mean, we're obviously going for the same spot, so you don't usually find too many guys that can be that tight between each other, but it uh, worked out really well for us, and we're still pretty tight. I mean, I think we've texted almost, every, like, if not every day, like every day of this. So. Uh, awesome. Uh, yeah, Mateo wants to know your favorite NHL goalie. Uh, Carey Price. I Yeah, I know it's almost a generic one, I guess, but uh, they kind of, my goalie coach tried to base my, his style uh, to me, uh, so I guess that's kind of the one from day one. I mean, I'm a Montreal fan, too, so just, I guess, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's not a bad one to pick. I mean, uh, Sting Updates asked this question, and I wondered it as well. Uh, why number 70? I kind of had a, went through a Holby phase where I was just, like, in love with him. I was like, this guy's sick. Like, his pregame, I watched, like, a pregame video of, like, what he does for pregame, and it just kind of stuck with me, so I was always kind of interested in him. And then um, I wore it for spring hockey, and we ended up winning the uh, the Selects Invitational one in Philly. 
against Russia. So I was like, okay, like I got to stick with this number. <laughs> I can't leave it now. So I ended up sticking with it after that. Awesome. And then uh, just last question. This comes from Parson. Uh, did you like playing uh, for the Sarnia Sting this year? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I honestly couldn't have asked for a better organization to start off with for sure. Um, looking forward, hope I get to spend the next four years here. But um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Like the guys, like I was mentioning before, it's just such a tight group. You know, with the coaching staff, it's the coaching staff are great. So, and city, the city as well. Uh, the fans that we have are awesome. So, can't ask for a much better place. Awesome. Well, Ben, thanks for uh, taking the time talking no to me today. It's been really cool, and uh, you enjoy the rest of your uh, your quarantine life. <laughs> you too. Have a good <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Bye. <laughs> <So glad. laughs>